Hello everyone, well, we're back again to do our artwork again today. Uh, it's the Easter holidays but we're still going to keep going because we're in a very unusual situation of being stuck at home quite a lot. So I'm going to show you how to do something today that will help you do your artwork and how to keep it safe. I'm going to show you how to make some little books. So the first thing is you can get some white paper like this uh, from your computer paper, fold it in half, little coloured card on it and then you can sew the spine to keep it together and I'll show you that in a moment. This is one that I made of little ripped papers like this, a little book of help and I have written all my ideas of how you could help somebody in that. I could have put pictures in that too. I've got another little book here with a whole variety of types of basic white paper. So I've got music there, old instructions, I've got a napkin, I've got kitchen roll. So this little book can be sewn together as well. We sew it down the spine like this and I'll show you that in a moment too. And I've got a little book here that I made a long time ago. You can buy these books for a couple of pounds in the supermarket. You don't have to go to the, the specialist art shops. And they have, they're just basically white paper and then you can put all your various things in the book. It can be writing, it can be pictures, colouring, drawings, whatever you like. Uh, there's another one of these little two pound books. As you can see, it's got just got plain white paper and I have just drawn on it and written on it to make a little book like that. You could make a little journal of this time uh, that we're having at the moment. Uh, but basically, I have tried to collect all different kinds of paper from my home that I get uh, through the post or old scrap paper or packaging or magazines. This is from um, the Southwark uh, magazine they give every month. So if I'm collecting those I can finish off with quite a, a nice little example of a book. So to put this little book together, uh, I'll show you on this as an example. I put my paper in, I've got it folded and if I was at school I'd use the long arm stapler to put a couple of staples in there but I haven't got a long arm stapler at home. So I'm going to use uh, needle and thread. So I have thread this fairly large needle and my thread is double and I've got a knot at the end so I pick up my little book and I want my stitching to go on the fold here and that it comes out on the spine of the book to make it nice accurate sewing. Give myself about a one and a half centimetres through to the middle of the book again. through to the spine of the book like that, leaving spaces. I'll put one more in here. Pull it through and then I double back on myself and go the other way. So I go back in this stitching here that I've made like this and then another one on the spine. So at this end here, I've got my little knot. You can pull that out, and then I can tie those. I can tie those off uh, like that. So I'll just leave that for now. Trim my thread, and that just keeps the book together, so that the little pages can be used to write on, draw on, stick things on, whatever you like. Try and make every page a bit different than the last one. Um, I've got another little book here that I made to show you. It's good if you can make these books just different than the plain ones. These ones you buy in the shop and they're just, they're just plain white books. But you can make your book look as interesting as you can imagine. So you can, you can draw with pencil on the paper bits and then the bits that are plastic you can use your Sharpie pen or any per per permanent marker that you've got. And I've tried to collect all sorts of different papers here. I hope you can see those. This one's a little chocolate bar, some tissue paper, some cellophane from packaging, crisp bag, white paper, these plain papers like this. They don't all have to match. You can jiggle them around a bit. You can make long thin ones like this uh, blue tissue paper. So this book is going to be very, very interesting in and of itself. 
uh, along with the good things that you're going to put in it. And I've got this little bit of corrugated card as a uh, cover. Uh, and you can make a fancy little ribbon if you can find a little bit of ribbon or something to go around it to make your little book like quite special and you can think of how you're going to do the cover and stuff like that. Uh, because this corrugated card is so bendy, I suppose you could roll it up and you could put a ribbon around it like that if you wanted to. It's, it's up to your imagination what you can do. So I'm going to just show you how to make one of these very quickly. I've got my uh, piece of uh, magazine. I've tried to choose bits of magazine that, ha that have a lot of whiteness about them. Uh, I can draw over this uh, text very, very easily. I've got a long, thin one here. I've got a piece of uh, white napkin. You could choose another colour napkin. I've got some kitchen roll here, which has got quite a nice surface on it. Let's get some colours. I've got some blue here, some scrap paper. Put it on the pile here. You can see what I'm doing here, just making a little pile like that. And I've got some... I think I'm going to use this orange as a kind of a cover, so I'll save that for the cover. And basically what you do, you make your little pile like this. I'm going to fold it in half. It doesn't have to be symmetrical at all. So that's basically my book, and I want the cover for it. It's good if the cover can be a little bit more sturdy. So I'm going to fold that in half. And then I'm going to fold it in half again to make my cover. And then my the bulk of my little book. Find the middle bit here. It's going to go in like this. And you'll see most of it goes in. Some of it's a bit long. You can keep it like that or you could trim it down or you can trim it. Uh, flush to the sides, whatever whatever you think you want it to look like. And your little book will be ready for you to draw in, stick your pictures in, whatever you want to My do. My book here is almost finished. I trimmed off some of the edge here. I didn't do them all the same. They are in different levels. You can also make the edges of your pages a different shape. So you can use your scissors. You can... You can round some of the pages off, make zigzags, whatever you like. And so there's that little book ready for me to use. Another little book that you could perhaps do at home. I've got three sheets of brown and the cover is going to be green. So if I fold that in two, as accurate as I can, and it almost fits the regular staple, but it's not, not quite small enough. So I'm going to... Uh, cut up here about a centimetre off the edge here with my scissors as straight as I can and I can make myself a little long book like that if you fancy that uh, or I can make a little super small book I can cut this in half and I've got a very tiny little book and my regular stapler will fit on there and one little staple will probably be enough and I've made myself a little book for the day. Maybe I'm going to stick in some leaves from the park in there, do some drawings of leaves from the park. That colour scheme might look quite nice for that. I'm going to make myself a book now with a piece of A4 paper. I'm going to fold it in two long ways, like this. I'm going to fold it again in half, that way. Try and be as accurate as you can and give it a good fold. And in half again, this way. So I make piece, eight pieces, eights of this piece of paper. So there's my quarters, my halves, and I've got eight eights. Okay, now this time I fold it in half this way. It makes our A5 size, like that. And with the scissors, I'm going to cut up just here, just this fold here. I cut up here like this as accurately as I can. Then I open my A4 again. You might have to look at this a couple of times. Fold it in half like this. And this, this bit here uh, telescopes in on itself, like a little decoration. And then you fold them down 
and fold down this one on the top and you've got a very nice little book with lots of double side pages in it which is quite nice. You could make a little story of that, uh, stick things in it, uh, do some little drawings for yourself. This time I've got my square of, of paper like this. I'm going to fold them in half to make a long thin book. And if you saved yourself up some plastic, some punched pockets or some of these see-through wallets, you can put your little book in like this, trim off how much you want. And you've got a nice little book there with a plastic cover. Uh, you won't be able to staple it if it's this size. You'll have to sew this one using the technique that I showed you earlier. Okay, what about a funky book? I've got some pink and red clashing colours here on the paper. Put them on top of each other. And I'm going to have a orangey kind of cover. Put it on top like this. And I'm going to fold this book as a triangle. If your paper is square, then it, it works out quite easy. So I've got myself a very funky kind of a book. And this one I would have to sew with my needle and thread because it's, it's not small enough to go in the staple like this. Okay, so let your mind, you know, try different things and think of different things. Circular book, what about that? Semicircles. Let your mind go. So I've got my little books here all ready to go. I've got the covers all decorated. Try and think of different names that you can put on it. So we're all ready here now to do some excellent work. If you could please send me in some pictures, then I can upload it onto Artemis Art Zip and other people can see your ideas too. So looking forward to hearing from you. Bye.